I would like to know if ever, in Division II ever, a quarterback had a problem at the line of scrimmage because he simply could not hear. Mr. Gonzi had had a problem about seven times last night. Well, the crowd really got involved in the game after we blocked that punt in the third quarter last night. And from that point on, they really, really, and of course, the worst thing the quarterback do, can do is let them know that they're getting to him. Did the fans realize that uh, finally they came over and they charged a timeout to UCF because that, that's a fairly new rule, isn't it? They keep taking timeouts away from you? <laughs> last year, they, they did change that rule and, and get a little bit more strict on the home team crowd. And, Theoretically, they could uh, charge timeout, timeout, timeout. We'd be out of it. Then they could start penalizing us five yards each time that the official feels that, that the crowd is unruly. But the the man with the white hat, the referee, has the option to point at the quarterback, and that means you go ahead and run the play. I don't think it's too loud for you. And that's what he did a couple of times. And once they penalized him one time for the delay of the game, then they quit doing that, and they, they started running their plays. I really don't think that the crowd was preventing them from running their plays. What they were doing was they were intimidating Troy State last night. 